here. Alexa, stop. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So welcome back to the KSP Motivation Channel. Um, recently, I got an Amazon loan a few days ago for about 50K. I'm just going to get straight to it, right? So recently, I got an Amazon loan for about 50K a couple of days ago. This is, uh, I mean, it's an offer. I didn't accept it. They are offering. They're giving me two weeks to accept um this would be the biggest loan that i've ever gotten offered last year around this time i got offered 30k but i only ended up taking 10k because i was kind of like uh, i didn't want to get stuck to any high monthly payments and you know be put in a bad financial situation and i i low-key i think it was a good thing i didn't because um around that this time last year my account got suspended for a whole month so anyway this now they're coming back and offering me a whole 50k and i think it would be a good idea to take it right so but my thing is i'm kind of worried about it so i'm i do need the capital to grow especially for inventory but the thing is, I feel like I don't have a team to help me, you know, grow like I would like to. So the thing is, I think I'm going to take the 50K, but and then it, for Q4, which we're, is pretty much here, use that to maximize my sales for Q4. And then starting next year, um, you know, use my profits and whatever to, you know, to invest back into the business. But the thing is, the monthly repayment is, you know, I feel like it's high, but in comparison to what I could make if I put all of it towards inventory, let's see. So it's about 50K. Um, let's say what's, I'm averaging about 25, I want to say about 25% ROI, 25 to 30% ROI for most of my products. But to be conservative, I'm going to say, let's say we get a return of 20% on 50K if I put all of it to work. That should definitely put us right about the 100K revenue mark. So, I mean, that's technically what I'm AI want. I want to be hitting 100K a month to net um, to average about 1 million per year. So I think if we take this, this will be a very good opportunity. But at the same time, 2K a month would be my payments back on the loan. And it's going to be about three, I think it was a three year, a 30, a 30 month term. So about three, almost three years. Yeah, a little under three years to pay back 2K per month. So I'm like, Ugh, I feel like that's kind of high. But at the same time, that ROI on a monthly on a monthly um, return, if I spend that 50K each month, I should be netting about um, 20 percent, 20 to 30 percent return. So that's going to be about 10K, which that's going to cover the whole what do you call it? The whole loan payment, you know, 10K minus 2K. And I'll probably net around 8K and then taxes in there and um whatever and so uh personal pay right i think it's gonna be a good idea to take it i'm gonna go for it i want the growth and um i'm just kind of like damn bro it's crazy like i feel like this might be it this might be the, the moment the move that i make that brings us to that point where it's like hey we're hitting that seven figure mark especially going into next year so i'm like uh all right, this is probably going to be a pivotal move. And I just want to update you guys, let you guys know about it. And um, the only thing that scares me, to be honest, is I'll have to say my account getting shut down for some type of reason. If it wasn't for that, I would have been clicked, yes. I would have been taking the money and we would have been spending it right now. But I'm like, <laughs> what happens if my account gets shut down i have to stop saying it but it this is a vivid thought that lives in the back of my mind like every single day like this morning i'm waking up to a violation on my account 
that says um, a customer complained about this product being defective. And I'm like, what? I never sold this product. And I go in there. I'm like, yeah, this I ha I can't even find one cell. It says zero cells. This thing is still this product still in reserve and I haven't sold a single unit. Why am I getting uh, a, a, a strike on my account, a mark on my account saying that customer complained about receiving a defective product and I can't even find any customer complaints. So I'm like, what is going on? Called the Amazon seller already. And they're telling me, oh, just go ahead, go through the process of denying the claim and submitting the proof that you have that you've never sold it and write a Word document and say that you never sold it and submit it. I already know the little circular loop they're going to put me through. I'm going to follow through with it anyway and see what happens. But it's like, bro, <laughs> that's the only thing that scares me. It's like, OK, so I'm getting accused of something that, you know, I never sold this product. And if I go ahead and take a loan and then I more of this stuff happens as I'm selling more inventory, you know, that increase the, your chances of, you know, something happening. Because the more products you have, more ch customers you're reaching and more chance of customers going to complain. And I'm like, damn, is it a smart move to take this money? And if I do, well, how can I protect myself against this happening? So I'm thinking next year for sure, like what I'm, my plan is to take this money, use it, maximize my sales for this Q4 next year, delegate as much as I can, get a VA or two, um, offset some of the work to them and get coaching to help me get into wholesaling and moving on to Walmart. So that would be, I, I don't know, I'll have to just kind of sit in that, you know, like keep my fingers crossed for the next couple of months and stuff cause until I could start getting onto Walmart Marketplace to kind of like get that, you know, ease myself a little bit for that happening, right? Because, you know, 30 year, a 30 month term, I have to make sure my account is good for a whole 30 months and I don't get any strikes or nothing that would jeopardize me being able to get my payout to pay, continue paying off this loan. I was also reading a post on Reddit where they say, they said that if you do get an Amazon loan, there's going to be less chance of you getting a shutdown. I don't know if it's true because Amazon is going to want to get their money back, right? I mean, the loan is through Lendistry. So, I mean, Either way, they take the loan payments from my disbursements before I even get the money. So if my account shut down, that means they can't really, you know, get the money. So chances are maybe they won't, you know, try to shut me down or it'll be less of a chance of me getting shut down. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this and um, let you guys know. But, you know, yeah, if you guys see my sales boom for the next couple of months, this is the reason why. So I just wanted to come here and just like kind of explain to you what's happening. So, you know, like, you know, just to give you guys a background of what's happening in the business and how I'm growing and getting bigger and what I'm using and leveraging and all this other stuff. Right. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted if you stay to this end to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned until the next time and peace out. Some people never will have much. They're too cautious. Now, you can also be too reckless, but you can also be too cautious. This is called the timid approach to life. And my caution was always the risk. Risk used to drive me right up the wall. I used to say, what if this happens? It's called the language of the poor. What if this happens? And on top of that, if this was to happen, look at the fix I'd be in. I better not try. <laughs> I could always ace myself out. Then I'll tell you what changed my whole life when I finally discovered it's all risky. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. 
Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not going to get out alive.